Hello guys, Christian Mayer here. Today I'm gonna try to answer two questions I get asked a lot. Question number one, when I'm holding my breath, should I fill my lungs completely or just 80-90%? Because if I fill my lungs completely full, then it feels uncomfortable and it feels like I'm using a lot of force to hold the air in. The second question is, when I'm swimming underwater, should I let some air out during the swim because it feels more comfortable and it feels like I can swim longer if I don't hold my breath but I let a little bit of air out towards the end of the swim. So let's answer the first questions first. If you have more air in your lungs, you have more oxygen. If you have more oxygen, you can hold your breath longer. That's just how it is. If you're using a lot of energy to keep the air in, then maybe you should fill them only up to 90% full so you can be more comfortable and relaxed during your breath hold. But if you're planning to do some training over an extended period of time, then I suggest that you fill up your lungs. What you will notice is your lungs are flexible and the muscle you are using to hold the air down it can be trained like any other muscle to be stronger. As you get used to the feeling of holding your breath and your muscle grows stronger, you will feel it's going to be more comfortable to hold your breath with full lungs. You can also do exercises of stretching your diaphragm to be more flexible before you try to hold your breath. That will also help. As you hold your breath, your lungs will expand. So try this for exercise. Breathe in all the air you can, then try to hold your breath for as long as you can. And then at the end, try to breathe in some more. So like this. For as long as you can, and then what you will notice is, as you have been holding your breath, your lungs have been used to having all this air inside and they have expanded a bit. So you can now breathe in more. If you look at some professional freedivers, you will see them use a method called packing. I don't recommend this if you're new and if you don't have training in it. You should really know what you're doing if you're gonna pack. What they do is they breathe in and then they pack more air like this. And if the world champions and the best in the world are packing more air than they can do with regular breathing into their lungs when they're doing their record breaks, then that proves that you should fill as much air as you can into your lungs to be able to hold your breath for as long as possible. And as I said, this can be really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So my conclusion is, if you want to hold your breath today, then take a deep breath not completely full and then try to hold as long as you can while you relax. If you're planning to train yourself to be able to hold for a very long time, then fill up your lungs and get used to the feeling of holding your breath with full lungs. So the second question, should you let some air out when you're swimming underwater because it feels more comfortable and it feels like you can swim longer underwater then? The answer to that is just no. The feeling you feel when you feel that you really need to breathe is not the lack of oxygen. It is the buildup of CO2 in your lungs. So even though it feels more comfortable to swim underwater and it feels like you can swim longer if you let some air out, you are breathing out the oxygen that you need to hold your breath. So you will be more uncomfortable with full lungs during the whole dive, but you will be able to swim much further. Hope you liked this video and remember to hit the like button and subscribe button for more videos like this. Have a nice day.